Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a Canadian superhero comedy film called Turbo Kid. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. In an alternate 1997, a post-apocalyptic society lives in a land nicknamed the Wasteland that is littered with trash. The scarcity of water has turned it into a form of currency. This society is ruled by a sadistic and tyrannical overlord named Zeus, who lives in a place called the Hell House. In the opening scene, a man named Scout stands in front of Zeus and a cheering crowd of his followers. The leader likes to organize fights between the people he abducts from the city. They battle to the death inside of a dried up swimming pool. Zeus owns a contraption that is designed to extract water from the human body. Everyone who dies in the fight is sent into the machine, where their body is shredded and mushed to extract 10 gallons of water. Currently, the crowd is chanting Scout's name because he has killed all the opponents he was made to go against. However, Zeus cannot let a brave man like Scout get away freely. He makes his savage right-hand man, Skeleton, kill him with a hammer to his head. Somewhere else, a teenager known as The Kid lives alone in a bunker. To survive, he scavenges through the wastelands, looking for valuable things of the past. But the task is not so easy. The crisis has caused people to turn into blood-hungry animals, ready to kill anyone for a drop of water. The Kid must remain hidden and away from the dangerous people to remain safe. One afternoon, he cycles to his work at a new garbage dump. The place is foreign to him, so he is extra careful. While looking through the trash, he comes across three decapitated heads mounted on sticks. This means someone has marked the trash as his own and is warning foreigners to stay away. The kid marks the place in his notebook that he uses to keep track of safe areas. He then takes off before being caught. After cycling for a while, he reaches his home, an underground bunker. Inside the bunker are all of his belongings that he has found at the dumping site. It is not the safest place in the town for someone like him, but the kid is fortunate enough that he has never been attacked. A while later, he makes his way to the local pub, where only the regulars are allowed to visit. The place is inhabited by a water trader named Bagu. The kid usually exchanges the stuff he finds with the trader for food and water. This time, he gives Bagu a pen for a single bottle of water. The kid is sad because it is not enough for him to survive a week. Bagu notices this and gives him a Turbo Rider comic. The kid's face lights up in joy since he is a diehard Turbo Rider fan. Then, we are introduced to a professional arm wrestling cowboy named Fred. He is also at the pub, challenging a huge man. After an intense match of arm wrestling, Fred wins, as usual, and the opponent has to treat the entire pub to drinks. Just then, one of Fred's associates comes to him with shocking news. Fred's brother Scout has gone missing. At the same time, the kid is in a playground reading the comic. Suddenly, a girl appears beside him and talks to him like they are friends. The kid panics and tries walking away, but she stops him and makes him wear a strange wristband. She then starts talking to a corpse, which makes the kid run away. Somewhere else, we see Fred and his men walking to the Hell House to look for Scout, unaware that he is already dead. They stop to take a rest when Skeleton attacks and brutally kills most of them. Fred is left alive and brought to Zeus. In the bunker, the kid wakes up to find the girl from the playground looking at him. She introduces herself as Apple and aggressively tries making friends with him, even though the kid is not interested. It turns out that she followed him using the wrist device. The kid had dropped the comic book in the playground, which she returns. In turn, he allows her to stay with him for a few days. He takes her out to scavenge and teaches her the ways to survive in the wasteland. The more they stay together, the more he starts liking her personality. Fred is brought to Zeus's place as a hostage. Zeus has heard of him as the famous arm wrestler. To test his skills, he asks him to show his moves against Skeleton. Fred pretends to extend his hand, but then attacks them. When he tries to punch Zeus, Skeleton cuts his hand off. Meanwhile, the kid and Apple get along pretty well. When asked about her family, Apple says that her former best friend died and left her alone. The kid was the first person she met after that, hence she immediately made him her best friend. The two play tag, which reminds kid of the childhood he never got to enjoy. 
Suddenly, a man emerges from the bushes and abducts Apple. The kid runs away in fear, but the man follows him. At one point, he falls off his bicycle and ends up on top of a door to a bunker. It breaks, making him land inside. The place is unlike anything he has ever seen. It has a strange glowing sphere that the kid touches in fascination. As soon as he does so, the bunker lights up. He carefully makes his way forward and finds the corpse of his favorite superhero, Turbo Rider, sitting in front of the control panel. It turns out that he was supposed to save humanity from destroying the Earth, but was killed before he could complete the mission. The kid wears the superhero gear and discovers that it still works. He can throw powerful electricity through his hand that kills with a single shot. The kid has now turned into his favorite superhero and is ready to save his friend. He goes on a search for Apple and comes face to face with the man who abducted her. The man uses his detachable punch to attack the kid, but his attack is weak against the Turbo's powerful jolt of electricity. In the Hell House, Fred, Apple, and a stranger are positioned inside the empty swimming pool. They will have to fight Zeus's men, and the ones who lose will be juiced for water. Before the battle starts, the kid arrives and claims that he is a superhero. Zeus laughs, asking him to showcase his powers, but the kid's wrist device runs out of power and stops working. He is also thrown into the pool with the others, and the fight starts. Initially, Apple starts beating the enemy, and the others watch in awe before joining. The pool turns into a puddle of blood, but the kid and the team win in the end. Zeus is surprised by the results, but he goes against his words and attacks the group. Apple is shot dead while the others are attacked from behind. Suddenly, the kid's armor recharges itself and he manages to defeat everyone with his powers. The group walks away, leaving a stunned Zeus behind. As soon as they are out of sight, he orders Skeleton to kill all of them. In the following scene, Apple and the kid are on a couch somewhere in the fields. The kid notices a hole in Apple's chest and discovers she is a robot. Initially, he freaks out and retreats, but Apple acts like her normal self, which brings him back. She also reveals that she is a friendship robot made to become people's emotional support. While returning home, she lags for a few seconds. When she recovers, she finds out that her transmitter is damaged and will only work for a few more days. To find a new one, they meet Bagu, the water trader. He knows of a place where many useless robots are dumped that might still have a working transmitter. The duo makes their way to the dumping site, but Apple stops working abruptly, slowing both of them down. They stop for the night and take a rest behind the remains of a building. The kid tells Apple about his parents, who were killed by Zeus when he was young. At the same time, Skeleton and his people have found Bagu and abducted him. With his guts attached to the wheels of a bicycle, he is asked about the kid. He tells him that they went to a robot dumping site, but Skeleton kills him anyway. The following morning, Skeleton arrives where the kid and Apple are. They run away, but are eventually cornered on a cliff. Skeleton uses a sharp disc to decapitate Apple. A shocked kid tries to catch her head, but falls off the cliff in the process. Skeleton thinks the enemy is dead and returns to the Hell House. What he doesn't know is that the kid survived with no injuries because of his armor. They finally reach the robot dumping site, but now Apple doesn't only miss a transmitter, but the entire part of herself below her head. The kid tapes her head to a random body, urging her to wake up, but it never happens. A flashback shows us that Zeus was just a scavenger before he killed the kid's parents and robbed them. When the kid wakes up, he finds himself with Fred. The man is taking him to a safer place, but has left Apple back at the dumping site because she is a lost cause. Suddenly, Skeleton appears in front of them yet again. As the two get ready to fight, we see Apple coming back to life. She uses the wrist device to look for her friend. Back in the streets, Zeus joins his right-hand man and mocks the opponent for trying to fight them. A group of his people attacks the two, and a battle ensues. Since he last fell off the cliff, the kid's armor has stopped working, leaving him with only his raw strength to fight the opponents. The place turns into a bloodbath as the people use gruesome ways to kill each other. Even Fred manages to break Skeleton's hand, leaving him defenseless. 
The kid does his best and kills most of them, but struggles to overpower a girl. Right then, Apple arrives on her bike and stabs the enemy with the unicorn horn. She reunites with the kid and gives him a spare part for his armor that will repair it. Still, Zeus refuses to give up. He shoots the kid and Apple, declaring his victory, forgetting that the kid is protected by his armor and Apple is not a human. The kid launches a final attack on him and kills the villain. In the end, he and Apple kiss under the rain of blood. But then, a twist shocks them. Zeus stands up again, revealing that he is actually a robot, which means the attack did him no harm. He is a corporate model designed to be a human's friend, but he was treated ruthlessly by them. Hence, he killed his master and over the years created his kingdom to rule over humans. The kid calls him a mistake and blows him up by shooting explosives that Frederick brought along with them. But the last explosion harms them as well. Apple saves the kid from it but dies in the process. The kid holds her in his arms, mourning her death. In the following scene, the kid buries Apple. Fred reveals that the explosion earlier caused a stream of water to emerge from the ground. He wants to deliver it to the people of the wasteland and save hundreds of lives. The kid wishes him luck and rides off to explore the other side of the wastelands where he has never been before. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.